Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And uh, I figured I might as well make this video uh, to go along with the Metal Analysis article that I just released uh, like a few hours ago or so. And I'll, I'll leave a little uh, card up top uh, in case you want to go ahead and check that out. There, there seems to be kind of <laughs> quite a lot of different things going around as to what people think about this metal. So at the very least, I wanted to help you guys out, give you guys what my, th my thoughts are about it, my advice on it as well, and hopefully that helps out. But just to start out, let's quickly go ahead and take a quick look over what the actual banner is itself, uh, and then we'll go into the metal. So for this banner, it's called the Prime 7 Star Deal in which they're introducing a new type of metal called Prime Metals. It says that you can get a 7-star Prime Axle Metal within 5 draws uh, for this banner. So it's a 5 Mercy Pull. But it also says that you're also guaranteed to receive a 6-star version of the metal each time you draw from this deal. You'll be able to take full advantage of the 7-star version's 5 trade slots. You're also guaranteed a Tier 4 7-star metal, as well as 3 Magic Mirrors. So essentially, every single time you pull from this metal, you will get a 6-star version of Axel. And at the same time, once you've actually done your 5th pull, you are guaranteed a 7-star version of Axel as well. Now, just to keep in mind, just to let everybody know uh, who may have forgotten or just aren't aware, uh, they have updated the game now where you can use uh, the lower evolution, the lower star versions of a metal uh, to still get traits for a metal. So in a way, these six star versions of these metals are also serving as the new trait metals, at least for this type of deal. So if you happen to get the seven star version of Axel, you can just fuse your six star versions into your seven star version and you will still get traits. Uh, and for those of you that don't know as well, uh, this is what Axel does. So this is a picture of Axel. And again, uh, I've already made my metal analysis video for this metal. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, uh, click on the card up above. But this is Axel right here. And this is what he does. Okay. Uh, we'll read his six star version first. So six star, he's a power reverse metal tier four. Uh, he's single target, six gauges. And for his tier four multiplier, he has an 11.96 multiplier. And this is what he does. For one turn, he raises your power strength by seven tiers and lowers the target's reverse defense and power defense by seven tiers, as well as general defense by four tiers. He raises your special attack bonus uh, percentage by 40% for all metals in your Keyblade, and he fills three gauges. His seven star version is literally the exact same thing in terms of ability as the six star version, the only difference being that he now provides a reverse strength of plus three, all right, um, as well as the guilt bonus uh, increases from 40% to 60%. But that's the only difference in terms of ability. The multiplier does uh, drastically shoot up as well. It goes from 11.96 all the way up to a 30.04. Uh, I think that's counting without the uh, guilt bonus as well. And same thing for this too, um, I believe. Because with the guilt bonus included, I... I believe this is actually a 14.04, and with the 60% uh, guilt bonus, I believe this is like a 37 or 38 point something. Uh, so these are def these are actually a lot higher compared uh, when actually used with their uh, guilt bonus that's included in their own special attack. But enough about that. Again, you can always check out the metal analysis I did uh, previously in order to get a better grasp of like what a, uh, how good the actual metal is and such. But just a quick recap: it is a very very good metal um, and I definitely highly highly recommend at least pulling once on this banner it is the only metal in the game as of right now that can fully debuff your reverse uh, debuffers okay reverse defense debuff it is currently the only metal in the game that does this and uh, to be honest this is kind of what I was expecting to to pop up sooner or later I wasn't expecting a full uh, debuff. I was expecting maybe like an increased version, maybe like uh, a four or five, like to like an upgraded version of Sephiroth EX or something. That's kind of what I was expecting something soon, but they, I guess they just decided to just go all out <laughs> this time. But, um, but because of the fact we do have you know stained glass metals already, and we have Kairi Shion EX and such, uh, it was pretty much at the point where buffing our getting max buffs is no problem. Um, getting max debuffs is no problem aside from the upper upright and reverse debuffs those were the only debuff only like stats in the game that we can't actually uh in terms of damage anyways that we can't actually like fully cap out uh reliably without needing metals with extra attack so in that regards 
it only makes sense they're going to come out with multiple medals sooner or later that can help fully cap out the upright and reverse defense debuffs as well. And I guess they're doing that through the prime medals. Um, so I am expecting uh, five more other pri prime medals at the very least uh, of one of every respective attribute. So there'll probably be a power upright one as well. Uh, magic reverse, magic upright, speed reverse, speed upright, and, and so on. Now, just to say it as well, just to reiterate, uh, evolving from a six star to a seven star does unlock the all five traits, as well as the fact that I've heard that you can still increase the, uh, at seven star, you can also increase the chips and dales on it from 1,000 to 2,000 as well. Uh, you do not have to get the seven star version from the banner in order to, uh, get the five traits or the plus 2,000 chips and dales. You can get that through normal evolution as well. So looking at this, the banner is 3,000 jewels. But the thing is, you are guaranteed a medal, and a medal this good as well. You're guaranteed on the first pull, every single pull, to be honest, actually. Um, and from where I stand, that is literally way too good to miss. Uh, if you're one of those people who managed to get at least one upright stained glass medal and one reverse stained glass medal, as me and various others have suggested, uh, you, you, you really want... <laughs> You definitely want to get this uh, Axel medal if possible. Okay, it's just too good. Even if you don't run a power reverse setup on any of your Keyblades, if you just simply run reverse setups at all in general whatsoever, you're probably going to want this medal, okay? And I even made some quick examples on the Tracker website just to kind of give you guys an idea of like how stupidly good these medals are, okay? So like right here, for example, I, I made a quick Fairy Star setup. And this is how I put it together, all right? I have Axel in the first slot. Uh, this is merely, this is almost purely just so I can get the power uh, strength buffs, as well as to give me the power uh, defense debuffs help complete the rest of the general defense down. That's going to be combined with the stained glass metal, uh, as well as the fact to give me the completely maxed out reverse debuffs as well. Okay. Now, combined with my stained glass number two that I have right here, I get full reverse buffs as well. I get the full strength buffs that uh, the Axe model does not provide me. It does not provide general strength at all whatsoever. So the stained glass metal helps that out. And it also helps me complete the rest of the general defense down. So literally just within these two medals alone, I've already been able to literally cap out every single uh, buff and debuff in the game that is necessary in a setup in terms of damage anyways. So because of that, and I did state this in the Lexius video as well, that in an ideal situation, if you can fully max out all of your buffs and debuffs in an ideal situation like this one, uh, Scar is going to be your best damage metal instead of Lexius, okay? And I tried stating this in the Lexius metal analysis video, but a lot of people just didn't really understand that or just w didn't want to listen I guess and it just kind of went way over their heads and and this is a perfect scenario of how I can show and prove that to you as well okay so typically in the past uh, without the Axo metal you would probably have Lexius where Scar is right now so looking at this setup right now we can see that this setup right here does about 167.8 million damage uh, from doing this and Scar is being used as the main damage metal the main focal point uh, for damage of this setup all right, and just to help prove and show you guys exactly what I meant uh, in terms of like Lexius is not nearly as good of a damage metal as you would think compared to Scar simply because of the fact Scar has a higher multiplier than Lexius as well as is also more consistent too. If we were to swap these, uh, look what happens when I calculate this. Okay, so as of right now with Scar as the main damage metal, it was 166.8 million damage and with Scar and Lexius plus swapped, if I were to calculate this now, it does about 148 million damage instead. Uh, that's a significantly lesser amount. And this is exactly what I was trying to get across in the Lexius Plus Metal Analysis video, that Lexius is not nearly as good as you might think he is. <laughs> Scar is by far the best reverse damage metal that we have in the game, simply because of the fact he has a higher multiplier than Lexius Plus. Now, I'm not saying Lexius Plus is terrible. I'm just saying that Scar is the better damage metal when you can... Uh, when presented with the ideal situation and with the new Axel Prime Metal, we are now able to achieve that ideal situation. Even if you're not really going for a power reverse uh, setup in general either, you can still go about making a legitimately good uh, setup, as long as it's like a reverse setup obviously, 
um, for various keyblades. So, like, here's a Stroke of Midnight, for example. Um, and it's fairly similar, fairly similar to the to the fairy stars. All right. So as of right now, for this setup, anyways, I do have it where Scar again is my main damage metal. But let's say, for example, I don't I, I don't have Scar or I don't want to use Scar as my main damage metal. Uh, I have a HD Lark Zine instead uh, that I want to use for my main damage. Well, in that case, uh, not nothing to worry because of the fact that you can always just put an HD Shion right here instead. Remove the Riku replica, and then you could just put like your your HD large scene in the pet in the pet slot instead, um, and you can still do tons of damage. Now I know I have stained glass uh, number six right here as well, which does help HD large scene. But even if you wanted to do like magic reverse, for example, instead, uh, if and you ha and boss Marluxia is your strongest magic reverse damage metal too. Well, let's just let's just say that for hypothetical reasons. Same things you can do the same exact thing. You could put uh, HD Shion uh, right here in the fist slot. And then you can take this out and you can put your boss Marluxia in the spirit slot. And even if you're using the stained glass right here, Ky remember that Kyrie and Shioni X do provide PSM buffs and debuffs as well. So they can still make up for the fact that uh, Axel only provides power buffs and debuffs um, by using your Kyrie and Shioni X to get those uh, other PSM buffs and debuffs instead. Um, and then at this point, you would simply just be using your axle as a primary source of general defense down as well as uh, providing all of the reverse debuffs necessary and then you just use whatever your reverse stained glass metal is uh as well to help get your reverse buffs something along these lines but the, uh just to reiterate the whole point of the axle metal is simply to provide your maxed out reverse debuffs and the general defense down does help out as well to make it a little bit easier to to uh pair up with other metals like the stained glass or Kyrie shooting x so again i highly highly recommend you pull at least once from the banner i know organization 13 is coming up i know the toy story collaboration is coming this sometime this month as well but simply because of the fact that the metal is so good and this banner is literally too good to pass up i do recommend and i would almost want to say it's like i would kind of want to require you to, to pull at least once to at least have a copy of the metal it doesn't need to be dotted it does not need to be seven star you don't even need the seven star version of this metal the six star version alone is like worth it just by himself with no i'm using this metal just by himself in like my pvp setups and in my normal setups as well he's just he's really good i don't know how to drive this home enough but the metal is really good get yourself at least one guaranteed copy of the metal so that way even if you don't uh buff him out or you don't fully guilt him and, and stuff right now you can always do that down the line it's you're in no rush to get the seven star again just in case i want to reiterate yes the seven star version of axel is really good but he you don't need him <laughs> he is not necessary at all whatsoever um if you're paying attention to his multiplier his multiplier is not that important or necessary really even um simply because of the fact that once the other seven star medals within the game get the buffs like JP has, uh, he's gonna have similar multipliers that every other tier four or higher medal are gonna have. And just mentioning that higher tier medals, once they become seven star, are gonna have higher multipliers than him anyways, uh, which just helps reiterate the fact that this guy is meant to be used more as a main debuffer medal more than anything else. So go ahead, um, pull at least once from the banner. Once you've done that, you can also ignore the banner from that point onwards. It, it literally doesn't matter anymore. Uh, your main priority is to simply at least attain one copy of the medal if possible. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos like this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.